Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, today I'm going to show you how I put together this cool little website here in about 15 minutes. Now, as always, if you never built a website, doesn't matter. Because I'm going to show you everything you need to know, step by step, and guide you through the whole thing from start to finish. So, let's get right to it. But actually, before, I want to go over a couple things, and then we are going to get right down to building this website. Website hosting is where your website is going to live online. It's where all your content is stored, all your videos, your pictures, anything basically that's on your website is stored there. And then all of that information is stored on the server. Here's another way I like to explain this to people. Think if you were going to build the house, you would need the land to put the house on. When you're building a website, you're going to need somewhere to put the website on. So basically the land is the website hosting and your website is the house. Website hosting normally costs about $60 to $100 a year, sometimes more. But today I'm going to show you how to get website hosting for just $12 a year plus a free domain name. A website domain is the link to your website. So for example, here's some other website domains. Google.com, YouTube.com, Amazon.com, GoDaddy.com. You get the idea. Alright guys, now that we got all that covered, we can start building. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to come over to my website right here. It's createwpsite.com and we're going to come over here and go to special deals and we're going to come right here and we're going to click on the GoDaddy coupon and we're going to click view this offer. This is where we're going to get the one dollar a month website hosting. Okay and then when you land on this page we're going to click the economy package Okay, and now this video is going to cut to another video that is going to show you how to install your hosting and set up WordPress. And then after that, I'm going to come back and we're going to start building the actual website. I'm just going to go with this one for this example. Okay, now pick your domain name, just whatever domain name you want, something that's going to be relevant to whatever your website's going to be about. I'm just going to do this one real quick. Okay, Finance and Solutions is available. Click Add to Continue. Okay, and then after you did that, you land on this page right here. And this is just going to show you your total. And uh, since you click that link, it automatically applied this promotional code. And just to show you, we'll remove it. 1218. If you don't have that, it's back up to 60 bucks. So put that code, I'm going to put that code back in for sure. And then I'm going to go here and I'm just going to go to proceed to checkout. Okay, and um, I'm going to sign up as a new customer. Okay, so I just entered all my information in. It's going to be blurred out for obvious reasons, but um, when you get the account information right here, email address, username, password, make sure you write all that stuff down or uh, just make a note of it somewhere even though I'm pretty sure they're going to give it to you anyways. And uh, the next thing you need to do is go down to payment information and pay however you want. I'm going to choose PayPal. Okay, and then after you pay, you're going to land on your uh, confirmation page. And um, all you're going to do is, if everything looks right, 1218 should be your total. Click I agree and then place your order. And um, that's it. You now have website hosting. Okay, now before we go and install WordPress, first I want you to go up here and go to Manage My Domains. And we're going to verify our email. we got to do that before we can do anything. So just uh, come right here, click Verify Email. Now check your email and there should be some type of message there. Okay, so I'm going to go check my email now. Okay, and if you, uh, you can see right here it says Action Required. Verify your email. 
Okay, now that's it. Your uh, account is verified. Now we're going to click here, go to my account, and we're going to set up WordPress. And you can just you can do this if you want, or you can just skip it. I'm just going to click no thanks. Okay, so when we get on this page, we're going to go here, and we're going to go to web hosting, click manage. And right where it says new cPanel, click set up. Now you can select from your domain. It's already selected. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to create a, a username and a password. Okay, now after you do that, make sure you make some kind of note of that, and then click finish. Now we're going to click get started. Okay, now you should be in your cPanel, and to install WordPress, we're just going to scroll down here to web applications and click WordPress. Okay, then come right here and hit install this application. Okay, now when it gets to this part, we're just going to leave it blank. So anytime anybody goes to this link, they'll land on your page. Scroll down here. This stuff should be all figured out for you right here. I'm going to click install. Okay, and then you'll land on this page after you're done. And um, if you ever need to uh, edit your password or, you know, any of those type of things, you can go here, view edit details. It'll give you all your stuff right here. You can edit all that. I'm going to go here and I'm going to click this one that says uh, backslash WordPress admin. Okay guys, uh, now we're back and you should be on a page that looks just like this. A uh, fresh blank WordPress site and uh, this is what it's going to look like. Let's take a look at it. This is how it originally comes and uh, we're going to make it look a whole lot better here. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here to settings and we're going to rename the blog here. As you can see right now, it's under my blog and we're going to change that. So just go over here to settings and then click general. And you guys can change the name to whatever you like. I'm going to change this to yoga and fitness for this example. And then this is where your tagline is going to go. You don't have to put a tagline, but... Uh, Again, for this example, I'm going to switch mine to this. Yoga and Fitness, the ultimate destination for yoga poses and how-tos. And then I'm going to come down here after you do that, and we're going to click Save Changes. Okay, now after we name the site, let's just take a look real quick. As you can see, it's changed to Yoga and Fitness, and then it's got the tagline right there. We're going to close this. All right, now we're going to go over here to Appearance, and this is where we're going to install the theme. This is what's going to change the whole look of the website so we're gonna go over here to add new and as you can see there's a ton of themes you guys don't have to use the one I'm going to be using but um, for this example I'm just going to install the theme and it's called diet and there it is right there and we're just gonna click install and then activate Okay, now we're just going to take a look at what that looks like now. There you can see it. You can see it's already starting to come together a little bit. And now we're going to make some posts. Okay, now we're going to start making some posts. And we're just going to click post right here. And as you can see, there's this first one right here. You can either delete it or just edit it. I'm going to edit this because we don't want that one up there anymore. That's just the example one that always comes with the WordPress site when you first install it. So I'm going to get rid of that, get rid of this. Already got some. It's going to be my title. And then this is just some example text that I'm going to use for this example. Just to fill it out so you can get the idea of what it's supposed to look like. Okay, got the example text. And uh, under categories, I'm going to switch this. I'm going to unselect this. And I'm going to click add new category. I'm just going to put the category as yoga. You guys can, depending on whatever uh, niche you're designing this your uh, website for, you can just uh, put your category accordingly. And then I'm going to come back down here and click set featured image. 
and I'm going to click select files, go to desktop, and I'm going to click my first picture right here. Now you guys can pretty much use any size image you want. Uh, it's better to use a bigger one and uh, WordPress will just uh, automatically scale it down for you. And uh, if you need images, all you got to do is just go to Google, search whatever uh, kind of image you're looking for, go to images, and right-click on the image you want, save it, and then do just what I did right there. Then we're going to come up back up here, click Update. Okay, let's check out what this first post looks like. Okay, as you can see right there, we already got one of the posts, so it's already looking better. And now I'm going to go back. I'm going to make about four to six more example posts, and then I'm going to come back, and we can continue on. All right, guys, I'm back, and I'm just getting ready to finish up my last post here. I'm just going to scroll down back down here. Again, click uh, Set Featured Image. I'm just doing the same thing I did the first time for this last post, and... Uh, come up here click publish alright so let's take a look at this now just gonna refresh real quick and as you can see it's starting to fill out a little bit that's one of the main things you want to um, make sure you do is uh, get your content up get some posts up try to get you know at least five posts uh, that'll help fill your website out uh, just gonna make it look overall better and okay we're gonna close this and we're gonna move on to the next step actually we're gonna come up here to customize it and we're gonna put the background on right here so we're gonna go over here header image right here and we're gonna click new image um, as you can see it says uh, this recommends a header size of 1800 by 720 if you want to I'll show you how I usually do it come over here I'd go to images search tools you can go to size and then you can put in exactly and then right there you would type in uh, 1800 by 720 hit go and then choose from any of those images or if you don't want to do that you can simply just um, get an image that's bigger than this or an image that's smaller than this and then you can crop it I'll show you that in a second so I'm just gonna come over here this is my image right there then right here you go click select and crop and see you can go right here and you can crop it yourself I'm actually gonna crop it a little bit and click that and right there you got your um, brand new header image make sure you click save and publish first and then close it okay and there we go you can see it's starting to you know pretty much come together already now the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to close both these pages and we're going to go over to pages and click actually we're just going to click pages right there um, and we're going to add some new pages in alright so I'm just going to come over here I'm going to edit this one and I'm going to open up three tabs for three new pages just to get the main ones and we're going to make an about us page and then I'm going to make a Uh, privacy policy page and then a contact us page these are just three main pages you always want your website to have and that's about us privacy policy and contact us Google likes it and um, it just makes your website look more trustworthy overall okay and I just added some links to each one of these pages right here that's going to show you if you don't know how to build a privacy policy page or a contact us page or an about us page you can just go here I'm going to show you right here uh, it says learn how to write a contact page you can click here and it's going to show you uh, how you do that it's going to give you an example of how you do that so anytime you if you want to check that out all you got to do is go to up here or go here and uh, you can click any one of these so if you want to find out you can go to finance and solutions dot com backslash example dash C and you can click on this about us and if you want to find out how to do it you just click right there and that's gonna show you how to do it also uh, you got the privacy policy page it's just gonna link you right here and 
just like it says, create a free custom privacy policy page and um, it makes everything real simple. Okay, now I'm just going to close these pages right here and we're going to move on to the next step, which is going to be adding even more pages. And then I'm going, after I do that, I'm going to come back and then I'll update you. All right, so I just finished adding the rest of the pages. I'm just going to refresh this so you can see the updated pages right there and come here. And as you can see, all the pages are up at the top. And also, I wanted to go over if you guys ever want to switch, if you see, uh, if you ever want to switch the order of these right here. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got eight pages right here. So what you would do if you wanted to switch the order is you would come here to edit right here under order you would uh, just label these either uh, one through eight and that would determine uh, in what rank they will go so if you want um, you know your home page first you just put that as number one or if you want you know uh, whatever other page is two you put it as two and you know so on yeah really guys that's it I mean uh, you got your content well I have my example content up and uh, you guys are gonna wanna fill it with actual content whatever that may be and you got your pages and you have a full good-looking website that's ready to start getting traffic again really that's it you're ready to go like I said before it doesn't matter what experience level you have anyone can do this just follow this step by step and add your own content and you got your own website in just minutes. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Good luck, guys, and enjoy your new website.